Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice exponent math problem? From here, we apply the law of indices. Now we have a raised to power m minus n. Of course, we can also write this as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. So when we apply this law here, we can write this, and uh, that will be 3 raised to power 5x. Then over 3 raised to power 1. Then plus also here we have 3 raised to power 4 over 3 raised to power 5x. Then that will equal to 28 from here. Then in the next step we have 3 raised to power 5x common. So let a letter now. Let y represent 3 raised to power 5x to make our work easier. So we now have y over 3 raised to power 1 is still 3, then plus 3 raised to power 4, that's 3 times 3 times 3, which is 81, then over y from here, which is equal to 28. Then here, the LCM here is 3y, so we can multiply through this equation by multiply through by 3y from here so when we multiply this through by 3y 3y we multiply this of course 3 we cancel 3 we have y times y which is y squared left then plus also 3y we multiply this y we cancel y we have 3 times 81 that gives us 243 less then equals to here we have 3y times 28 that gives us 84y. Then, in the next step, let's bring everything to one side to form an equation. And this will be y squared minus 84y now. That is plus on this side become minus. Then plus 243 will then be equals to 0. And then from here, factors of 243 that will give us minus 84. That will be minus 3 minus 81 so that will be y squared minus 3y minus 81y then plus 243 now will then be equals to 0 so from there we cannot group these two two and factor is common here y is common we have y left then minus 3 then minus here what is common here we have minus 81 then we have y minus 3, which is equal to 0. Then y minus 3 also common. So we have y minus 3. Then multiply by y minus 81. Close bracket, which is equal to 0. So next, we have two steps here. Two, you know, possible cases. We have y minus 3 equals to 0. Or we have y minus 81 equals to 0. Then here y is equals to 3 from here. And on this side we have y is equals to 81. Then recall that uh, we represented y as 3 raised to power 5x from here. Then when we use that that is, we let y to be equal to 3 raised to power 5x. So that means we can write y now as 3 raised to power 5x, then, which is equal to 3 here. And 3 here is same thing as 3 raised to power 1. So we have same base, then 5x equals to 1. To get x, just divide both sides by 5. And 5 we cancel out here. So here we have x equals to 1 over 5. So this, we have value of x on this side. Then on this side, also we have 3 raised to the power 5x equals to 81. And uh, we can express 81 in base 3 as well. So we have 3 raised to the power 5x equals to 3 raised to the power 4. Then base i equal, we have 5x equals to 4. Also divide both sides by 5. And 5 cancel out here, then x here equals to 4 over 5. So we have x equals to 4 over 5 on this side. Then to check if this value satisfies the given problem, 
we can substitute each of them so for the first one we have we have x equals to 1 over 5 when we substitute the value of x here which is equals to 1 over 5 that will give us here we have 3 raised to the power of 5 times 1 over 5 now then minus 1 plus 3 raised to the power of 4 minus 5 into that's x that's 1 over 5 with this be equal to 28 from here then when we see this this power multiplies we have 5 cancel each other remain 1 that's 3 raised to the power 1 minus 1 plus here we have also this cancel out we have 1 that's 3 raised to the power 4 minus 1 this is equal to 28 from here then this is 1 minus 1 0 3 raised to the power 0 plus 3 raised to the power 3 this is equal to 28 then from here 3 raised to the power 0 that's 1 plus here 27 this is equal to 28 of course this is 28 which is equal to 28 since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side then x equals to 1 over 5 satisfy this given problem then also let's check for x equals to 4 over 5 then we substitute also the value of x equals to 4 over 5 now so from here we replace x as 4 over 5 that's 3 raised to the power 5 into bracket 4 over 5 then minus 1 plus 3 raised to the power 4 minus 5 into bracket 4 over 5 now is this equal to 28 from here then also this 5 cancel out and we are left with 3 raised to the power 4 minus 1 then plus also this cancel out we are left with 3 raised to the power 4 minus 4 is this equal to 28 from here then here what we have now is 3 raised to the power 3 then plus 3 raised to the power 0 equals to is equal to 28 so 3 raised to the power 3 we have 27 then plus here we have 1 is equal to 28 this is of course 28 this is equal to 28 now also left hand side equals to right hand side then we can also conclude that x here which is 4 over 5 satisfy this given problem Anyway, we have come to the end of this class. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps and uh, subscribe for more exciting videos. Turn on the notification bell, share this video, give a thumbs up, and put your comment in the comment section. Thank you, and see you next class. Then, bye for now.